there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how to make some really cool faux metal pewter jewelry using cardboard and hot glue, and actually in some cases just hot glue and stamps. So um, I'm going to zoom out here and uh, show you how to do it. It's very, very easy. And here's a pair of completed earrings that I made, and they're, uh, they got the faux pewter finish on both sides. I, you know, make the prettiest side on the front. They're just attached to some ear wires. And uh, doing this project is very, very easy. So what you need to do is find some cardboard, just some thin chipboard. This is um, from just like a box of um, snack bars that my kids like to take to school. And I um, just want to cut a couple simple shapes out. If you want, you can draw it on first. Like I could draw like a simple little teardrop. And what I like to do is draw one cut it out and you can see that this uh, cereal box type material cuts really really easy with my scissors don't worry about it being perfect you want it to be a little funky this is a very funky project and what I love is that it costs next to nothing so these are great to make up and sell at like craft fairs or bazaars um, even something the kids can do you, the kids could paint these if you you know did the hot glue part and don't worry about your pencil lines showing. Don't worry about the printing on the box. It's all going to be covered up with paint. I'm just going to cut these out pretty quickly. All right. And then you just want to give um, a coat of black paint on each side. I've got some. I'm using the. You can use any black um, acrylic paint. I'm using this heavy body stuff because it's a little bit thicker and will cover um, a little bit better. And oh, before we do that though, we're going to need our hot glue gun. Make sure you get a glue stick in there. And um, what you want to do is just make a design on the, um, on the teardrop. I'm working on a silicone mat. So I'm actually just going to kind of drizzle it across there, kind of like I was drizzling chocolate on something. And then I'm very carefully, without burning my hands off, going to stick my finger in there and just pull that out of the way so it doesn't glue it to my mat. I'm going to do the same thing here. Try to keep them somewhat similar since they are a pair. I can go with one of their swipe across the bottom. It's easier to avoid globs if you kind of start off the earring. And it doesn't take much to really give you a cool texture. Ooh. And as soon as that dries, you're going to flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. Don't worry about the glue strings, you can cut those off later. I'll zoom in a little bit, you can see this a little bit better. Just going to start off of the shape and just drizzle it back and forth. Alright, so do that to the other side of your other one too. And I recommend making these in a big batch because there's a lot of um, kind of just hanging out and watching paint, uh, paint dry, watching glue dry, which is kind of boring. I'm just going to roll up all this dried up glue so I can get it out of my way. This is just a, um, a Wilton cake decorating. It's silicone on one side, Teflon on the other. Um, works really great as a craft mat. The only thing is it, it wants to roll up on me sometimes. Alright, so I'm just going to grab this other one here that we only did on one side just to show you how to apply the paint. It's it glue strings everywhere. If you have glue strings, just take your scissors. If you have any little blobs over the side, just uh, snip it off like that. And then um, use a brush and just paint some acrylic paint on there. Oh wait, before I paint that, I want to show you one more thing that you can do. I'll show you how to get this medallion here. And what you want to do is just squirt a um, generous gob of glue there. And you want to let that set up for a couple minutes. Well, it depends really how hot your glue is and, then, um, and how warm your um, craft area is because you want it to set up a little bit before you put the uh, before you put a rubber stamp in it then you want to ink up your rubber stamp I've got I love these big cubes I don't know if they still make them or anymore or not but just ink up um, any stamp design with um, with clear ink and that's just going to protect your stamp and then um, just kind of place the stamp right in there you can see I did one already I'm going to peel that one off in a minute to show you okay while that's sitting and dry we're going to go back over here to our little teardrop Woo. There we go. There, there it is. And we're going to use our black acrylic paint. And we're just going to paint this. Make sure you get down in the nooks and crannies. 
and um, and you know you can really be as freeform as you want with this it's just kind of like a fun I think it kind of looks like the precious metal clay a bit when you're done but it's certainly a lot cheaper so then you just want to let that dry paint both sides and let it dry I have um, let me zoom out a little bit I have a homemade drawing board that I've shown you how to make before in one of my videos it's basically a piece of two layers of foam core that I have stuck um, sewing pins the straight pins into and so the little uh, points the little um, heads on the top of the pins just hold my items really well uh, while they're drying so it's a, and I put a little ribbon on it because um, this is really light I put a little uh, ribbon on the end so I can just hang it up on the wall when I'm not using it so let me just set that over there to dry now here is one that's already dry on both sides and I'm going to show you how to apply the silver paint I'm going to go back over here and zoom in I'm telling you I'm just like uh, <laughs> so slick with the editing today <laughs> the lack of editing I got a little um just any old silver craft paint. This is by Plaid. It's just a indoor outdoor craft paint from Walmart, I think. Probably about a buck or so. You don't need very much because you're just going to be dry brushing over the edge. So grab your brush that you've just cleaned off. Dry it off real good. You want your uh, you don't want any extra water on your brush. That's a tip right there. You want your paint pretty full strength, and you don't want the paint to blob. You just want to kind of glide across the um, the areas here so see and you don't want, you do want it to catch up uh, catch some of the uh, brush strokes that you've made because that gives you that really nice pewtery look see that Isn't that cool I love the way it catches the brush strokes I'm doing it on the back and I, I'm saying this is the back because I got a big blob there and it's not exactly um, pretty as pretty as the first one but I still think it looks really cool and I'm gonna set that on my board to dry now I want to show you what the um, what the stamped one looks like after you've taken it off and painted it. So I've painted this black. This is just a glob of hot glue that I stamped and painted black. Now I'm just going to hit it with the um, silver. And look at that, how it brings out that pretty texture. Isn't that lovely? And then if you do it on the back, you know, and I like to kind of cross hatch my strokes in different directions here just so it kind of picks up some of the other um, texture of the brush strokes and I leave my new brush strokes and that gives it a, just a very kind of polished pewter um, background and you can add more silver or less silver depending on um, what you like but you really just want to kind of skim across the texture on the surface and here let me see if this is dried enough so then when you peel this back you can see I can still feel it's a little warm you don't want to peel it off while it's warm you want to make sure it's completely cool or it will stick to the block so this one is completely cool because I did it, you know, 10 minutes ago. I'm going to peel this off. You can see you've got this hot glue with a nice texture on it. And then um, just set it down on your mat and paint it. I'm not even going to wash my brush. I'll just go in with that black. You just want to make sure you get a good, um, good coat of paint there. And again, when that's dry, you just dust over it with the silver. So that's how you make the, uh, the pretty faux silver uh, jewelry. And to finish off, what I did was I just punched a little hole with a tiny little hole punch in the uh, the corner of my little cardboard faux earrings, I guess you want to call them, and um, added jump rings and ear hooks. And that's how we got to that. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make and it was a lot of fun to do. So please give it a try. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. And until next time, happy crafting.